Okay, in this video, we'll calculate uh, some examples of values of Euler's phi function. So let's just recall some setup. So Euler's phi function is defined as follows. So it's the number of positive integers between 1 and n whose GCD with n is 1. We know that phi of a power of a prime is equal to p to the r minus p to the r minus 1. We know that if we have two relatively prime numbers, Euler's phi function acts multiplicatively. So if the GCD is 1, then phi of mn equals phi of m times phi of n. And then finally, if we have a full prime factorization of n, then we know that phi of n is n times 1 minus 1 over p1 all the way up to 1 minus 1 over pk, where P1 through PK are the prime factors of N. So in fact, in this formula, we actually don't need to know um, what the exponents are as long as we have all of the prime factors and we have to have all of the prime factors for that to work. So let's look at some examples. So first, we'll use 36. And so that's uh, easy because we can write down its uh, prime factorization very quickly, so it's 2 squared times 3 squared, and so that tells us that phi of 36 equals 36 times 1 minus half, and then 1 minus 2 thirds, so that's going to be 36 times a half times 2 thirds, sorry that should be 1 third, I was getting ahead of myself, good. And then, as you can see, um, we can cancel that, and then 36 over 3 is 12. So we have phi of 36 is 12. Good. So let's look at another example. So maybe phi of 600. So the prime factors of 600 are only um, 2, 3, and 5. So I'll let you check that, and I won't even write down um, what exponents we need for 2, 3, and 5. I'll just use the fact that we have this formula. So 2, 3, and 5 are the only prime factors here. So that means this is going to be 600 times 1 minus half times 1 minus third times 1 minus fifth. Good. So that will be 600 and then a half times 2 thirds times four fifths. Great. So let's see uh, what we can get from that. So these twos cancel and we're left with 600 over five times four. Sorry, maybe 600 over 15 times four. And then uh, we can check that this is equal to 160. So this is equal to 160. So it's uh, maybe easy to check that uh, 600 divided by uh, 5 is 120, and then divided by another 3 is uh, 40, and then multiplied by 4 is 160. Good. So let's do uh, maybe one more example. So let's maybe do phi of uh, 3, 4, 5, 6. And so, in this case, we'll use the fact that this 3, 4, 5, 6 is equal to 2 to the 7 times 3 squared. Good. So, like I said before, we don't need to know these exponents. We only need to know the primes dividing, by th dividing 3, 4, 5, 6. But we'll write the prime factorization in that case. So, here we have this is... <clears throat> 3, 4, 5, 6 times 1 minus half times 1 minus third. And so that's going to give us uh, 1,152. Good. So that's the end of this video.